Today we're going to be talking about how to find equivalent fractions. As always, here is our standard, which brings us to our learning goal, which is I can draw a picture and use multiplication to show the equivalence of two fractions. Keep in mind that equivalence just means the same or equal to. Let's try this first one together. First, we need to pull out the fraction of the shaded parts in our rectangle, which we've been working on for a while. We should be able to tell that there are two equal parts and one of them is shaded. So we know that it's one out of two, one half. We now need to divide our shape so that we can find an equivalent fraction. I'm going to divide ours with one line, breaking it into two equal pieces. We have the one on top, we have the one on the bottom. That being said, we can say that one half is equal to 1 times 2 over 2 times 2 because we broke it into two more equal pieces. We need to solve that. We know that 1 times 2 is 2. We know that 2 times 2 is 4. We are now saying that 1 half is equal to 2 fourths. If we look back at our original shape, we know we had one and we had two. When we divided it in half, creating two more equal parts, we can see that we have one, two, three, four. And now we can look at how many of those are shaded in with our new shape. One, two. Let's take a look at another. First, we need to find how many are shaded in. We have one, two, out of one, two, three, four, five. Two fifths. I'm gonna break apart this shape the same way I did the last one. I'm gonna draw one line, creating two more equal parts. So we can say that two times two, since I created two more equal parts, and now five times two, we need to solve two times two is four over five times two is 10. So we are saying that two fifths is equal to four tenths. Let's take a look and find out with our new shape that we divided. We divided it into these two more equal parts. Let's count and take a look and see what we have. We now have one, two, three, four shaded in out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's try this last one together. You don't always have to only break it into two equal parts, so this time we're going to break it into three. But before we do that, let's go ahead and find out our fraction. We know we have one, two, three out of one, two, three, four. Again, this time I'm going to break it into three more equal parts. By drawing two lines, I've now broken it into three equal parts. So we are going to take three times three, since I broke it into three equal parts, and also, of course, your denominator, four times three. When we do that math all the way across, three times three is nine, four times three is 12. We are saying that three-fourths is equal to nine-twelfths. Let's go back and double check and count our fraction. We should have nine out of 12 shaded in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Out of 10, 11, 12. Whoops. Out of 12 total. You're gonna do this one on your own as well as this one, and one last one. Please remember to um, break apart your, sh your rectangles. Um, you don't always have to only break it into two equal parts. Again, you could do three. You could even try four if you felt like a challenge. Good luck, and I'll see you tomorrow.